hello friends in this video we are going to check uh, pending moment cr force and column forces uh, this is our model it, this is already analyzed model we are going to check bending moments for beams select any plan this is our floor plan for bending moment we have to go to display force stress diagram and frame forces we have to select load combination load combination in hollow uh, moment 3 3 frames and apply you can see the bending bending moment diagram for beams you can check values directly pointing cursor on the beams for that you can see values for bending moments in each beams or you can select and right click the beam you can see the results maximum bending moment minimum bending moments and shear force maximum shear force minimum shear force maximum bending moment and minimum bending in this way you can find bending moment for each and every beam simply right click on a beam select load combination shear force and bending moment in this way now we are going to check shear force display force stress diagram frame forces combination in shear force shear to apply ok this is shear force diagram you can right click same results will appear shear force as well as bending moments you can check by clicking every beam or pointing on a beam you can check on each floor just right click select the right click beam you can check the beam. you can scroll the values or scroll for the values and you can check the bending moment at a point where you want to need want to check the bending moment in case of secondary beams check i want to check the bending moment at that point where the second beam rest on the main beam same as the moment in this way you can check bending moment and shear force from beam now we are going to check column forces for that you have to select uh, you have to set 3d model for each i am going to off beams apply also floors i'm going to turn off floors also so you can easily locate the columns 
for column forces display force diagram same combination axial force for the compression member we can select axial force and frames apply ok in this way you can find the axial forces from the column just scroll to point the cursor on the column or right click you can find the forces in the column in such in same way you can find the forces from shear walls also display for shear walls you have to select pierce apply okay you can see all the purchase are appears you can set the scale value scale value little lesser than to visualize clearly and just point on the wall you can see the force value or right click you can check the values here also and last one last one we are checking support reaction for that we have to go on base just clicking on base ok this is our base go to base for each i am selecting this view selection only more setting for 3d and you can just go to display for instagram for support spring reactions combination same fz because our vertical axis is z fz apply ok now you can see the reactions at the bottom of the base point you can check each and every point of the column for the base reactions in case of slabs we can also check the slab forces for this we have to go to floor plan 